There's uncertainty and frustration for Canadian travelers abroad during this COVID-19 pandemic. One woman who traveled to Lima, Peru with her family last week says she's worried about how long she'll be away from home after Peruvian officials suspended air travel in and out of that country in an effort to contain the virus. The emergency was set and we are now stuck here. Shannon Monteith and her family arrived in Lima, Peru on March 11th for what was supposed to be a family vacation during March break. But with warnings and advisories from both the Canadian and Peruvian governments related to travel due to the COVID-19 pandemic, she has been working diligently to get her family back on Canadian soil. Nobody can give us any straight answers as to uh, when we'll be able to get back home. Monteith said she tried to reach out to Air Canada, but after an hour's long wait, they provided her with an April 3rd flight. But she says officials there are unsure as to whether that flight will actually be able to leave. Well, I've tried getting in contact with the Canadian Embassy here. Uh, Canadian Embassy is closed, you can't get through. Peru issued a nationwide state of emergency declaration stopping people from traveling in or out of the country as officials there try to contain their own coronavirus outbreak. A Facebook group called Canadians Stuck in Peru has also been created, which has upwards of 500 members sharing their own stories of uncertainty during this difficult time. It would be nice just to get some kind of information, to get an email that says, Hey guys, we're working on a humanitarian plane to get you back home. Sit tight, we'll keep you informed. Earlier today, Premier Doug Ford said an emergency plane is being deployed to Peru to get 22 stranded students. However, there were no mentions of helping other Canadians also trying to get home. Deputy Prime Minister Chrystia Freeland addressed concerns about Canadians stuck in Peru, saying the feds are providing consular services and that a fund has also been set up to help people live while trapped there. The first thing to do is get in touch with Global Affairs Canada. Uh, get in touch. There, there is a hotline. Let people know you're there, and that's how we can start to support you. You can't get through to anyone to tell you not even that. Not even to say, look, we're working on something, we know you're there, nothing, nothing at all. Global Affairs Canada had previously said they're offering financial support to Canadians that are stuck abroad. Now, we did reach out to Global Affairs with questions about what they're doing for Canadians that are stuck in Peru. We did not receive any answers by news time. Melissa Nakavali, City News.